It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another State of Survival episode at Wacker Rush Gaming. In today's video, I want to share with you some huge concerns that I personally have about the Limitless Heroes. If your state does not have the Limitless Heroes, then it's extremely important that you know the Limitless Heroes of Maddie, Nicola and Lucky are still so extremely overpowered. If you're not a Rally Leader, you can afford to skip Generation 11 and Generation 12 Heroes with the anticipation of the arrival of Limitless Generation. 1 heroes. Nevertheless, for a number of us, Limitless Generation 1 is coming to an end of its life cycle. In several days, the hero challenges will be over, Project Dominion will be over, and Nicholas Daily Deal Bundles will also be over. Therefore, it is very clear that Limitless Generation 2 of Trish, Jab, and Wolfie are coming. Historically, State of Survival has always released new heroes in conjunction with the launch of a new world event. This I expect within the next two weeks from now, we would see Wolf in Daily Deal, Trish in Race Place, and Jab in Value Vouchers. So technically, this week could be the last week for many states to get their hands on Lucky in Value Vouchers or Nicola in Daily Deal. Many of you are asking me, what should we do? As you already know, the cost of these Limitless Heroes are already obscenely expensive. Once upon a time, you could get a set of 3 Max Heroes for $1,800. But now, that set of 3 Max Limitless Heroes will cost you around $6,000. If you're a rally leader, $6,000 is a lot of money for a set of heroes that are only going to be relevant for 3 months. State of Survival is an expensive game and due to global price hikes, it just got more expensive. This is where Paxify can help you save up to 25% on in-app purchases. The discount amount is based on your in-game prices and the exchange rates. Paxify offers State of Survival players a fast and straightforward onboarding process that allows you to start saving straight away without any waiting period. Due to their exceptional customer support, many survivors are truly delighted with their amazing service. Added with their range of payment options, including the WISE app or crypto payments, with detailed instructions and support provided step by step to set them up. Want to save more? Then take advantage of Plaxify's flash deals and purchase diamonds in bulk to receive up to another 10% of discount. With its fast onboarding, competitive pricing and top-notch customer support, Plaxify is the ultimate choice for anyone wanting to progress quickly in their game. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Separately, the introduction of combo skills are so prevalent in the generation one limitless heroes. I mean, how strong can gen 2 limitless heroes be? If the combo multiplier is increased, then it's going to go down a big slippery slope of no return. For sure, Gen 2 Limitless Heroes will beat Gen 1 Limitless Heroes at equal starts at a straight fight. However, what about the vast majority of State of Survival players? Normally, the previous hero generations will go to value vouchers. This allows many low to mid spenders to catch up afterwards. However, with the upcoming introduction of Generation 2 Limitless Heroes in the new Life PTR server, which is supposed to be a copy of the Life server, there was no opportunity opportunity to obtain Limitless Maddie, Limitless Nicola or Limitless Lucky Capsules anymore. If this is the case, then many low spenders to mid spenders are totally screwed. Because no matter what you do, you cannot max any of your Limitless Heroes generation unless you spend a tons of money. How many of you actually have a decent heroes of Trish, Jab and Wolfie? Many of you told me that you don't have them. You skip them as they were trash and etc. As a result of that, it's going to be extremely hard for many of us to upgrade them in to any decent level in the next 3 months without taking a new mortgage in our house. That is if you even have a house in the first place. So I'm in the opinion this is absolutely garbage if State of Survival I take to this approach and I pray for all of you survivors that this is just an anomaly in the live PTR server and we would continue to be able to get Maddie's, Nicola or Lucky Limitless capsules from the value vouchers. As otherwise, I can foresee thousands of players leaving the game. How do you expect survivors to have fun when the moment they unshield, they can get zeroed? How do you expect survivors to be relevant if they cannot grind and upgrade the heroes to, be to improve the defenses? How do you expect survivors to enjoy a game like this? I mean, it's absolutely bonkers where we are right now and we can only hope that this will not come through. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.